A ball is loaded into a spring gun cart with the spring compressed. The ball has a mass that is less than the mass of the spring gun cart. The cardboard combination is traveling to the right at a speed v o when the spring gets released and the ball is shot to the right. Ignore friction. Which of the following must be true? One, the force on the ball is stronger than the force on the cart during the shooting process when the spring pushes on the ball. Two. The center of mass of the cart ball system moves to the right at the speed v o immediately after the ball is shot. Three, the momenta of the cart and the ball are of equal magnitude immediately after the ball is shot. A, one only. B, two only. C, three only. D, one and two only. E, one and three only. Number one, the force on the ball and the force on the cart during the shooting process must be equal and opposite action force and reaction force. So number one is wrong. Number two, the center of mass of the cart ball system moves to the right at the speed v o. That is correct. Because if we ignore friction. Then the net force on the whole system is zero. That means、uh, the center of mass or the whole system should be moving at a constant velocity. So before, during, and after the ball is shot, the whole system, the center of mass, should be moving at that same velocity v o to the right. For number three, we know that in this process. The total momentum of the system must be conserved, so the entire time the momentum has to be a constant. The initial momentum is m plus little m times v o. Afterwards, the momentum should be the same as well. So we only know that the final momentum of the two cards added together has to be this much. It does not guarantee these two. To have the same amount of momentum, whether it's opposite direction or same direction, so number three is not correct. So the answer is B, two only. Just a side note: the kind of explosion that results in two fragments with the same amount of momentum is one that starts with an object. At rest. In that kind of situation, the initial momentum of the system is zero, so the final momentum has to be zero. This means the two fragments have to have equal amount but opposite direction momentum at the end. In this particular problem, the cart and the ball are moving when the explosion happened. That's why number three is incorrect.